I don't know. A few trees here and some grass there, and this place might not look so awful. Hello, Captain. Overloaded, we should stop and prioritize what we're carrying. Yeah? Dropping off a few choice items? I'm listening. I'll only carry the good stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. What can I help you with? Actually, yes, I do. Here you are. Have something for me? Talk to you later.
Greetings, Captain. I will accept any and all items. junk you're hauling is seriously slowing you down. Struts primed, retros firing.
Thanks for responding to my hail. We've been trying to contact you about your ship's extended warranty. Your warranty coverage has expired or is about to expire. Due to the uncertainty of the political situation in the settled systems, we think now is a great time to renew your ship's warranty protection plan, or purchase a new one if you lack coverage. It sounds like you're interested in hearing more. First, I need to inform you about the warranty claims process as laid out by the United Colonies Arbitration Board. UCAB is not a decision maker and cannot change the outcome of a dispute. Before filing, claimants must submit the following 10 forms of information. Complete contact information, make and model of the ship in question, as well as any modifications made to the ship by one of our approved mechanics. Additionally, we require the authorized servicing dealer's contact information, a description of the issues with your component, the resolution you are seeking, monetarily or full replacement, and a signed copy of our information release waiver. Claimants will also need to submit ship logs for the duration the part or parts in question were used, contact information for the three previous owners, and our customer satisfaction guarantee waiver. May I continue? It sounds like you're interested in hearing more. We have several tiers of warranty. Please listen closely as terms and conditions may have changed. Our Power Plant Plus plan provides coverage for an essential list of components related to engines, thrusters, and life support systems and starts at only 50,000 credits. Our Diamond Select plan includes everything in the Power Plant Plus plan with the exception of air conditioning and water recycling, as well as defense systems, limited to non-lethals, as well as bow to stern shield coverage for 100,000 credits. Our Platinum Elite plan includes everything in the Power Plant Plus plan and the Diamond Select plan, excluding thruster bells but including air conditioning, as well as a personal service agent, and starts at only 200,000 credits. Do any of these plans fit your needs or budget? We also have financing plans with excellent interest rates starting at 18.9%. It sounds like you're not interested in hearing more. That's too bad. We'll continue to reach out to you with additional opportunities. Thank you. Let's put this bird on the ground. This is definitely not the kind of place I'd set up an outpost. It is pleasant to see you. Galaxy Heller. 
one of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face? We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. So, you actually get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? What? Really? Uh, not really cut out for whatever it is people like you and Barrett do. But it might not be a bad time to think about a career change after... all this. If you have room in your crew for an outpost supervisor, maybe we can talk. Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. If you give me an outpost to run, I'll have it optimized for rapid material production in no time. I can make myself useful in other ways, too. I'm a good hand with explosives, and you'll never hear me complain about carrying a heavy pack. Sure. I don't mind taking orders from a former employee. It can't be worse than working for Barrett. <laughs> After this mess? Certainly. It's just a job. Nothing to get sentimental about. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. Hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. That's fine, Dusty. I never considered anything else. My parents were miners too. I've been learning the trade since I was old enough to dig. The longest I've spent above ground was the year and a half I served in the UC military during the Colony War. That was more than enough for me. I prefer to keep my boots full of dust, and my pockets full of credits. 
Less trouble that way. No, I don't. I only ask as many questions as I need to get my job done. I had no idea it was dangerous. I've seen skeletons the size of starships, buried in sheetrock, and crystals that release a toxic gas potent enough to kill you through your suit. Once I was part of a job that unearthed an entirely new species of cave-dwelling insects. You never know what you'll find when you break ground. Rocks are good at keeping secrets. No. Whatever that thing was, it's the only one I've ever seen. I'm glad it's not my problem anymore. And I'm glad you bounced back from it. Losing a miner is never easy. What about it? I did. I know I don't seem like the military type. Like most people, I was less practical when I was young. I was only in the military for a year and a half. I spent the rest of the war underground. Mining materials for the UC to turn into ships and bullets. I was talked into it. Someone I loved felt called to serve, and he asked me to join him. Only one of us walked away from the war, though. I was a drill sergeant. <laughs> you don't seem surprised. I have a firm hand and a knack for getting the best out of people. The UC saw that, and put me in charge of training new recruits for combat. Well, I lost someone dear to me in the war. I'm as strict as I need to be, to make sure my workers' families don't have to go through that too. Mining can be as dangerous as combat, you know. There's a good reason why I've held on to old habits. It was my husband. The love of my life. He was killed just a month before the armistice. No, we didn't. I was stationed at the recruiting center on Jemison, and he served on the front lines. He was a crewman aboard one of the UC's largest ships. He used to tease me about how much more exciting his service was than mine. He always hated being stuck in cities for too long. The transport vessel he was aboard was shot down by the Freestar Collective. Hundreds of lives lost. That's the cost of peace. My husband was proud to serve the UC. He served honorably, and I'm proud of him for it. I only wish I'd gotten to say goodbye. Thank you. It was never quite the same after he died. Sure. His name was Manuel. He was a miner, like me. We were stationed at the same outpost for a few years, and we had the same supervisor. He was a better man than most. Honest, kind-hearted, and even-tempered. I've never felt more at peace than I did when I was with him. Losing him was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Damn colony war. <laughs> Do I seem like the motherly type, Dusty? No. We never had children of our own. Manuel has a daughter named Miranda, but she was already a teenager when we got married. She lives in New Homestead with her family. We aren't very close, but I try to see her every time I pass through the soul system. Five years, then we were married for most of it. I knew he was right for me, after our first conversation. And I'm not the type to waste time. I can still remember the look on his face when I asked him to marry me. Heartbreaking doesn't even begin to describe it. Manuel was absolutely everything to me. Losing him shook me to my core. I've never been the same.
Manuel was my greatest joy. When he died, he took most of my happiness with him. I couldn't handle the heartbreak. So I threw myself into work. I barely looked up from a cut for years after that. I figured if I kept my head down and my workers safe, that eventually I'd get over the loss. But it's like I said, time doesn't heal everything. I believe I was only ever meant to love one person. I still hate waking up without him. I was with the other officers at my base when a report came through about one of our ships being destroyed. I recognized its name from Manuel's messages. It took a few days before the casualty reports started coming through. But by the time one of the officers came to console me, I already knew he was gone. Space battles don't tend to leave many survivors. Hmm. I don't think so either. I don't know if distracting myself instead of finding a way to move on was the right choice. That's the trouble with aging. The more of it you do, the more foolish your younger self looks. <laughs> if it is time to move on, then leaving Argos was a good first step. I don't have as much to worry about out here. Make it quick. Do you need anything else?
fleet is made of charitable donations, so the ships are always breaking down. And the district's mechanics are few and overworked. Let me see. Mrs. Whitmore, who are you talking to? Is it a pirate? Pirates? There are pirates? What? No. No pirates. Everyone is safe. Holy smokes! Constellation! The Explorers? That is so cool! In space you can encounter all sorts of fascinating people. Now, everyone, settle down. The driver said ship parts should be sufficient for us to repair our ship. Understood. Well, I hope you have a better day than I'm having. Please tell me you have some extra ship parts. The kids are getting restless. Understood. Well, I hope you have a better day than I'm having. Watch your flaring. you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Nah. Nah. I'll, I'll be alright. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. You should let us help you. There's no reason for you to have to suffer needlessly. Man. I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Mm, not <laughs> what you and I would call a plan, necessarily. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me... We need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, 
We were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean... I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then, he did the little finger gun thing. Well, no, I don't think so. I caught him holding his ribs a few times. <laughs> Favorite his left leg a bit, you know? Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, it's okay. I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out. But, uh, I think I heard the word ransom. Yeah, you know... You're really the one who should be upset about all this. Me, laying here, half-conscious, real inconvenience. Got a signal from the ship before they grab-jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. Haven't really been in a good... <coughs> ...space to have a listen. Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. <coughs> I think Argos is probably gonna write this whole thing off. <coughs> Plus, I'm 90% sure working for you would be safer. I hope. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. <coughs> Give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. I have something I need to discuss with you. Okay, that's it. Time to sell some of your junk. You should have a talk. When you have the time, of course. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. You bet. I've worked on enough remote outposts that I know a thing or two about optimizing them for material production. And if you're in the market for a mining buddy, I'm your guy. Uh, don't worry about me. I'm a tough cookie. The painkillers are starting to work. I'll be just fine after a good nap. Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? 
I can't make out the console. Don't move! He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. <laughs>